last on the list of the ingredients in a good diet are supplements. We all know that supplements can never replace proper diet planning and nutrition, but they can help you reach your fitness goals faster. Unfortunately, with so many different supplements on the market, it can be difficult to choose the right ones. I remember how intimidated I was after my first visit to the local supplement store where they had literally hundreds of products, bars and pills. It's also not helpful that most supplement ads make promises that are often exaggerated and sometimes even flat out lies. You should always be skeptical when someone tells you they build crazy amounts of muscle with some new products, especially if they are trying to sell it to you. The simple truth is that the supplement industry is huge, huge as in billion of dollars. It's also true that most of that money is spent on worthless supplements that won't have any effect on muscle growth or fat loss. So to help you find the ones that are worth their price tag, here is my short list of the best supplements for beginners that are looking to build muscle and or lose fat. In a later lesson, I will also go over supplements for improving general health and your immune system. So be sure to check that one out too. Number one on the list is protein powder. Protein powder is probably the single most popular workout supplement. This is because when you want to build muscle through strength, training your body requires more protein for muscle repair and grow after a workout. While this doesn't mean that you have to use protein powder to reach your recommended daily protein intake, consuming enough protein every day can be tricky, especially when you don't have the time to prepare high protein meals every day. A good protein powder can really make your life easier. This is why most athletes and bodybuilders use protein powders in addition to a balanced diet. You probably already know this and might just be asking yourself which protein powder is best. From whey to casein to vegan, there are lots of options to choose from and within the fitness and bodybuilding community. There is always a lot of discussion about which is best. But as I explained in the lesson protein powder, it most likely won't matter all that much which kind of protein you buy, as long as you take it regularly. So just go with the one you like best. The second on the list is creatine. Creatine is an organic acid that helps supply the muscle cells with energy during high intensity short duration exercise. Along with protein powder, it's one of the few supplements that actually delivers on its promise to help you see more gains. Unfortunately, due to its popularity, there are also a lot of misconceptions about creatine. No creatine won't harm your kidney unless you have an already existing condition as study after study has proven this. It also doesn't build muscle by itself, but it will increase your strength level. If you have taken one of my muscle building courses, you know that the only way to ensure long-term muscle growth is by planning progressive overload. You have to continually increase the tension placed on your muscle to force it to adapt and grow by enabling you to lift heavier weight. Creatine will indirectly help you to build more muscle, but you will still have to put in the work. In the lesson on how to take creatine correctly, I will teach you everything you need to know about the optimal dosage and timing. Last on my short list is fish oil. Even though fish oil won't directly lead to more muscle growth and not only boost your mood, but also helps to maintain healthy cholesterol levels and strong bones and ligaments. Unfortunately, most of us aren't getting enough fish, which is why the average person should go for the second best option, which is supplementing with the fish oil capsules. The omega-3 fatty acids contained in fish oil are essential fatty acids that reduce the risk of heart attack and lower blood pressure, among other benefits. I also found that my skin has improved since I started taking my fish oil supplement. Another great advantage of fish oil is that there are basically no side effects unless you are allergic to it. Why you will find people on the internet complaining about the fishy aftertaste 
This is usually only happens when you buy a low quality product. I personally have never had this problem. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.